guys, welcome back to another episode of On the Eight Kingdom. This is Bryony Parker bringing you when baby number three will come. So I did the Harvest Festival uh, food again, and I did it three times. Three times, which I normally don't do, and nothing about a kid having a talent. So we are about to go into this and see baby number three. Uh, it hurts. Is it time yet? It's fine. Just relax just a bit more. Just hang on a little more. I am with you. No, oh, comforting husband. And this could potentially be his last kid. So, yeah, just a warning to you guys now. This could be the last kid. If she doesn't get a talent, however. But the problem is, she can't have Hannah Furtis. Oh, it's a boy. That's fine. So, I guess this now confirms it. Debunked? The eating thing doesn't always work. So, here is the baby boy. So... Yeah, so, again, I can actually say, even if it wasn't a girl, I was happy with a boy regardless. So, you know what? And, yeah, again, I'm glad I actually debunked the eating thing. So, most of the time, it's worked for me. This is the first time I've had it fail on me. They might have made a patch to where it's not easily done. They've made several patches, like, one of them being that the travelers aren't as younger anymore, which really sucks. Alfie, fix it. Fix the problem with the travelers becoming way too old. It is ridiculous. And I mean ridiculous. Because some people want to actually marry a traveler. And I honestly feel like I want to, but the problem is, is they're just too old. They need to be young. And one last thing I also like to mention with new patches is... Ah, oh shoot, I forgot about it though. But I'm going to first pick a name for this boy and I will show you when I get the name for him. Okay, guys, I have picked a name for this baby boy. His name will be Justin. So, here we go, baby Justin. That's a fine name. Look, the baby likes it too. Amazing, so cute. You're already a doting parent. I'm fine with being doting. Raise him with love and in good health. Oh, he's so cute. And, of course, let's see what this kid's personality is. So, I definitely know he has no talent. None of my kids had any talents. But let's see here. He is rational. Ooh, Justin. That's a great personality to have. And I'd like to actually mention that there's some other things I need to point out as well that are important for the far future video. Actually, right after this. So... One thing I'm a little concerned about is I might not get the Harvest Festival stall thing, even if I'm in second place. I've been doing it several times, and I've just not been getting it. So I might do it in my debunking series, since recently I've actually considered of kind of combining my debunking series with things that I need to also put out for a guide as well. So yeah, that's another thing I need to mention. And... Next video, if I do get the Harvest Festival thing, though, I won't have to show up my debunking series, just mainly keep a debunking series. And also not to mention that uh, there's also going to have to be a choice now. So, yeah, um, let me look over the choices for Hunter, of course, that are not related to Briny's line, because now I am literally related to to everyone now. There's no way I can ignore it unless I marry a traveler and that's not going to likely happen because the travelers are way too old. Which again I mentioned, Althe, again, I am not happy. Not happy. Oh, and um, someone actually mentioned something about my outfits and uh, I actually got most of them from either gathering events or I got them from the tickets. So, the dress that Maya's wearing now, the Sakura, um, let's see, it's called Sakura Country Wear, yeah, Sakura Country Wear, you can get from the tickets, and the problem is, though, the past event that currently had them through the ticket tower, which you can only get through the tickets, is possibly past, because I've just seen recently that they have actually changed it now for the new event ticket, um, outfits. And that's another thing that Alfie needs to fix. Past things that you can get through the ticket thing should always be made available. They shouldn't be making it to where it's only available for that time and only that time. I could get it if it's a limited event harvest thing or whatever, but when it comes to tickets, that should be a thing where you should get it at all times. So Alfie, 
another thing you gotta fix. And, uh, let's see here. Oh, and the bow I got from me, uh, bleh, from a accessory ticket thing as well. Again, that was through the, um, what do they call the tickets again? I believe they called them... Let's see here. I know I can find it. Ah, here we go. Taylor coupons. Yeah. Also accessory thing from the Taylor coupons way back when, when I was with um, Edgar Dyson. So yeah, that brings back a lot of memories. But anyways, again, here's Hunter. But let me look at his options available. Okay, guys. Uh, so a little um, problem came up. So, nothing too major, though. I just realized that, uh, the options for Hunter are not quite all ready yet. So, maybe in a little while, once they are all grown up by this year, I will tell you this, by this year, they will be all grown up, and then, by the next episode, you'll get to pick who Hunter's future wife is going to be. And why I'm choosing Hunter is he's the only one who we can do for a new job we haven't covered yet, which is the priest job. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I will see you on the other side.